Hello friends, it's me, Miss Mary, and today, or, or in this video, we're going to be making cake. And I will tell you all of our ingredients. I've made, it's usually when you start to bake, it's a good idea to list all your ingredients, just like Miss Megan does in class. So today we need cake mix, one cup of water, a half a cup of oil, three eggs, and after the cake, after you bake the cake, you can choose to add frosting to decorate it. So we will get started. It says the first thing on our list to add to our, I have a mixing bowl here. The first thing to add to our list, I'll show you the bowl so you can see everything being mixed together, is cake mix. You want to make sure to get it all out of the bag and in there. Mix, mix, mix. So after you add that to the bowl, you can cross it off your list. Now we have one cup of water. So I have it already measured out right here and I just pour it in. This is our one cup measuring cup. See, it's the biggest. So now, oops, we can cross that off our list. And next, we have half a cup of oil. And that, we add into our bowl. This is a half measuring cup. See, it's smaller than the cup. So this is the half a cup and this is the full cup. The half a cup is smaller than the cup. Then we add, so first we can cross that off our list. And next, it says to add three eggs. So let's start and crack them into the bowl. Cracking eggs is a little tricky. So we have one, two, you want to make sure the shell doesn't get in there. Otherwise, you make it a little crunchy. And three. So we've added our three eggs. After you do eggs, sometimes you need to wash your hands. So nothing else gets dirty. All right. So. We've added our three eggs, so we can cross that off our list. The next ingredient I have on our list is frosting, but we usually use that after we've baked the cake. So, we have all four ingredients. One, two, three, four. So now, we're gonna take our spoon and mix it together in our bowl. You're going to mix it in a circle. When this cake is being made, do you think it will come, because so see the cake mix, how when you stir it, it's a little liquidy. When we bake it, do you think it will come out as a liquid like this? Or do you think it will come out as a solid? Something that's not as runny. That's a good question to ask while we're waiting for it to be made. So, kind of you have to stir it a lot. Do you think the cake will be hot or cold when it comes out of the oven? Do you think that this cake mix is going to get bigger and expand and kind of go higher or do you think that it's going to go lower in our pan? So here's our pan. Do you think it will go lower 
or higher, where you can see it over the edge, kind of get bigger or smaller. These are all questions we can ask while we're baking, kind of see what our mixture turns into. So after you mix it all together and you make sure there's no, all the ingredients are mixed together and you can't see each individual ingredient that it all looks like one, you can shovel it into your cake pan, just like that. You can put as much in there as fits, make sure it all fits in the pan. Ooh, see the way how it's liquid now? Remember the questions we're asking. Is it going to be a liquid or a solid? Is it going to get taller or bigger? or smaller or shorter and is it going to be hot or cold when it comes out of the oven all right i'm going to put this in the oven and then after it's all cooked i will bring it out so we can answer all those questions this is what it looks like before it goes in all right we'll check on it in a few minutes Hi friends, the cake is done baking. This is what it looks like when it's all done. So let's see if we can answer our questions. So one of our questions is, is it get, did it get bigger or did it get smaller? Can you see the cake over the edge? I can see a little bit of the cake over the edge. What do you guys think? Do you think it got bigger or smaller? Do you think it, the cake mix rised or lowered? Taller or shorter? I think the cake got bigger. You can now see it over the edge of the pan. Another one of the questions we asked is if <laughs> the cake is hot or if the cake is cold. What do you guys think? Is the cake hot or cold? Well, one way we can test that theory is if when we put frosting on it, will it melt or stay hard? Let's see. Let's give it a second. Is the frosting melting because it's so hot? You can kind of see. See how it's not as white because it's getting a little. It's melting because the cake is hot. The cake is really hot. This is what happens when all of our ingredients form together and we bake it. See how it's melting? It's turning a different color. It's going lighter, the frosting. It's melting because the cake is so hot. It's a little hard to tell over video but it's melting, turning more liquidy, a little more liquid. And some people put sprinkles on their cake to make it all nice and pretty. Now, now that we did our last ingredient, we can cross it off our list. And now, we're going to cut into the cake to see if the cake is solid or liquid. When we put it in the oven, the cake mix was liquid. We used water and oil and eggs and cake mix to make the mix, and it was very liquidy. Now, what do you think the cake is going to be? What do you think? Solid or liquid? All right, let's see. 
Whoa. What is it? It's solid. When you mix all those ingredients and bake them, the cake turns solid. Wow, friends. And cake is yummy too. I can't wait to have a piece. Cake is fun to make when you're at home. You can practice making ingredient lists. You can practice asking questions or diff trying um, different science experiments. It's a good science experiment. You can practice predicting or saying what's going to happen in the future or later after you make it like the hot or cold, or liquid or solid, or um, bigger or smaller. You, baking is a fun way to do science. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and you can try baking at home. All right, we can't wait to have you back in the classroom. I hope you're staying safe. Bye.